Hi there, Gemini. How are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Anissa from the Inner Stereo. This is going to be your love general messages. As a general reading, so the rules might get reversed or it may or may not resonate with you. And if this reading resonates with you, there's going to be a link down the description box below for a personal reading with me, okay? So in this reading, Gemini, it's going to be a you versus them format. I'm going to be playing card. <coughs> about who is it that we're going to be talking about today and what their current energy is like your challenges past present future from both parties and we're going to clarify them and i'm also going to be pulling some advice card for you by the end of the session okay Ooh. okay gemini this person's current energy you might be dealing with a fire sign here aries the sagittarius or you might be dealing with a taurus that's as far as i can see right now but this person's current energy right now it's more like this person right now have an epiphany about the i wouldn't say disagreement but it's more about a different perspective that you both have when it comes to these connections and i feel that there it's just that it's just that click inside of their minds like ah okay now i get it now i get it now i get why there is a disconnect now i get why there is something that is um quite of an obst obstacles within our connection now i just get it okay and i feel that they get it when you guys are literally you know with the six of swords and the five of swords in here literally walking or moving away to calmer water when you no longer providing any sort of security consistency or predictability within the connection we're going to clarify this okay because what I can see here is that you have the Seven of Cups and also the Chariot from their side. And from your side, you have the Nine of Cups and also the Queen of Pentacles in the past. I feel that you uh, were at a point where you feel the need to focus a lot more on yourself. To, to You feel the need to focus a lot more on like, okay, you know what? I'm going to be building myself up to a point where I'm also secure and stable within myself. And by me choosing stability and security over anything else, it means that I also need to be cutting out or I need to be eliminating negative influences that I have in my life. This person with the Seven of Cups and also the Chariot, I feel that this person was a bit um, confused with the choices that you made for yourself, and, but it kind of like doesn't deter their determinations of them wanting you. Now, in the present moment, they have the Sun and also the Ace of Swords. From your side, again, you have the Six of Swords and you also have the Five of Swords. I feel that this week especially for you and the next week to come there is a strong sense of impatience where you're not really wanting to be dealing with things that just going to be disrupting your stability so um every time i got this combination i would also say be careful because sometimes when we're in this energy there is a high tendency that you might also be hurtful towards people who are innocent let's say for instance your family or your children or your friends you know like you could be very snappy you could be very like oh no i don't want to deal with that you know what i mean so just be careful with that energy um especially this week or the next week to come but from this person's side it's more about them having like an epiphany okay now i get it i get it why there's a disconnect i get it why i get it now why and i get it i get what gemini actually wants me to do right now okay now in the future i do feel that this person is going to be straight up or having like really really direct or straight up conversations kind of like quite um either we're going to clarify what this is it's either they want to be clarifying or proposing an idea or they just want to talk to you so that you know they have a bigger idea or a bigger sense of what is going on i think from your side you have the two of wands and you also have the king of wands there is a bit of detachment coming from your side because you know where you want to go here you see this king of wands king of wands has the map laid out area and this is where i want to go it's like you keep telling to yourself this is where i want to go this is my standard this is my go-to and i'm focusing in there and i feel that you're going to be um evaluating this person based off the standards that you guys are having in the future we're going to clarify what it is okay so let's clarify now i want to clarify the present moment from their side here with the sun and also the ace of swords
Clarify the Six of Swords from your side too. There's somebody here that you clearly do not want. Or, okay, because, you know, Six of Swords, clarify about the Page of Swords, the Lovers, and also the Ten of Pentacles. It's either, okay, it's either, one, you guys have an idea, okay, this is the type of standard, this is the type of relationship goal that I would like to have. This is the standard, and I don't feel that you are actually fulfilling that standard of mine. Or, it could literally be that you guys are dealing with another person, that you see those standards in you see the potentials in it and then you're becoming like gosh i don't need that energy you know i i don't need that energy i don't care if you love me if you love me why then you know page of swords starts to come out like why then you treat me like this why then why then why then something like that so it could be the two scenarios for some of you it's literally you already moved on to someone else or it's it's about you having that standard and goal and you know that with this person it cannot be achieved okay now this person uh, ace of cups nine of cups in reverse and also the hierophant now they want to straighten up their things they do it comes from a place of them being dependent on you emotionally there is a bit of a codependency here that i'm sensing from this person now let me clarify the ace of swords I need you more than you realize that's what they're trying to say because again nine of cups in reverse and also the ace of cups and the hierophant is like i need it i need to be with you i need to be in a relationship with you i need to be in connection with you i need to be in agreement with you i just need it okay let's clarify that ace of swords clarify that five of swords Yeah, it's it's like it's like you once you start getting into your logical mind and once you start, you know, weighs in the pros and cons, once you start to be very, very fair and just, there is a sense of realizations from your side that this person is just basically selfish and I don't want nothing to do with that. Now, I have one scenarios, which I feel it's not going to fit to the whole populations of Gemini, only maybe 5%. And, but I have to say it, it's more about you having a bit of doubt when it comes to a third party situation and this person is trying to dismiss it. Okay. And I feel that that's where you feel that this person is being selfish. Like how come they don't get it? Yeah. Now let's clarify the future. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Let's clarify the Two of Wands. Yeah, I feel that you're giving up on this connection as a Gemini. You're really giving up on this connection. You have the Ten of Wands in reverse and you're walk you're you're working yourself, becoming very consistent and persistent and very determined and emotionally checking yourself out of this connection once and for all. But they don't want you to do that. They don't want you. They have suitors that like them, but they don't want those people. They only want you. Let me clarify the two of pentacles from their side here. Let's clarify the king of wands from your side. <clears throat> You're having a major, major trust issues when it comes to this person because things just don't make sense, you know what I mean? It just don't make sense. And you're, again, the challenge here is the nine of wands in a way that, okay, I had the experiences of getting burned before, either by this person or by, you know, your past person. 
I'm not sure if I want to be putting any type of investment in this. I need some sort of guarantee that this is going to be fruitful, a fruitful investment for me, which you don't see. You tried to see things from a different perspective way back in the past, but it's more about, I don't know if I want that. I don't know if I really want to do it. But it's interesting from this person because two of pentacles clarified by the nine of pentacles the knight of wands and also the seven of cups so it's more about i get why you're seeing this what person is being selfish i get it because it's like they want to be single but they don't want you gone too they want to take care a lot more on their self but they don't want to let you go at the same time i get it i get it but from this person's side it's like i just don't get why gemini doesn't want me because I need Gemini to be with me. I need this connection. I need this relationship. I need the commitment from Gemini. But I get why you're... I get it. I'm going to clarify the Seven of Cups here. Yeah, it's more about them being confused by your um, actions and behavior to a point where they might actually assume or accuse that you have someone else. Why are you suddenly all about yourself? Why are you suddenly all about, you know, taking care of yourself? Why do you suddenly have boundaries right now? Why do you suddenly have ambitions or goals? Why are you so expressive? Why are you so assertive right now? They are trying to find the answers of like why you guys are changing, which they could not comprehend. Can I pull some advice card for you here, Gemini? <clears throat> So you have the temperance, you have the king of swords, and you also have the queen of pentacles. You might be dealing with an air sign too, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or the uh, Sagittarius. But anyway, the advice here has a lot to do with, I think what you guys are doing right now is pretty correct about you wanting to bring out balance into your life. I think what needs to be more um, exercised within your realm has a lot to do with you surrendering to trusting that the divine or the universe knows what's best for you. So if it's for you, it's for you. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Don't try to dwell. Don't try to overthink about, okay, if I'm losing this one, what it would be the guarantee of me finding at least somebody who's just like this. Trust the universe. Like sometimes we know what we need, right? I want this, but the universe or divine knows what's best for us. So try to surrender that, okay? Try sur to surrender that to that. And you have the King of Swords and you also have the Queen of Pentacles. I do feel that there's going to be a certain type of information or an informant that is going to come to you. You see here? This, this is the after tarot deck, so it's going to be very different than the tr traditional right away tarot. But I do feel that you are about to be receiving some sort of information when it comes to this connection. It could be from a person or it could literally be from... You finding it out yourself. What you need to do with that information, Gemini, is to be like this, the Queen of Pentacles, to be very practical, to be very realistic about does this fit my value? Does this fit how I see things? Does this fit what I'm trying to manifest? Because if it doesn't and you still have fear about like, okay, if I let this one go, what would happen to me? No, trust the universe. See if things are aligned with your wishes. See if things are aligned with your standards. See if things are aligned with what you're trying to manifest. Okay. So I think that is it for my reading for you here, Gemini. I hope that you find tons and tons of clarity that you guys have been looking for. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week for another weekly reading. All right, bye-bye, guys. Have a great day. I love you.